for uh, this is the time that we're going to discuss adding to or taking away or leaving the sign well let me let, let me take this time to kind of tell y'all and I think most of you know where, where Moody support is at currently Moody support in the past has been um, has primarily been um, Parker Green and our support for Parker Green to do what Parker Green does. <clears throat> However, as things have begun to change over the years, and now with some with sequestration coming on and some additional discussions about um, a potential BRAC in 2015 and or 2017, um, there was a concern within the community again about the efforts to to, to uh, be sure that um, that we're doing what we can as a community to protect Moody. Moody is about a 450 million dollar impact to our local economy, so it's extremely important. So where we're at now with it is is that we have um, Parker Green doing what he's doing. We have Alan Ricketts who is who is, of course, with the Industrial Authority, and Alan has taken on an additional role as uh, working on a committee that the government, that, that the governor uh, put together, uh, and he is a person of one on that committee. We also have, um, we also have a, um, uh, the Chamber of Commerce has a regional plan that they've got put together that they're working with with um, uh, at this time they're working with Berrien County, Lanier County, and of course Lowndes County in those efforts, and they're looking at the need if it needs to be done to expand that a little bit. Um, and then we have at, basically at the head of it, um, Mayor Gale and I had discussed the need to have someone new in the role that Parker Green currently is in. That, that could carry on that effort and carry on that effort at the Pentagon, uh, at the Washington, at Washington D.C. level, and at this point, um, that individual that kept coming up was um, retired General John Fulkers, who lives just up in the edge of Berrien County. Um, he is a former Moody commander as well. Um, has been through the Pentagon, all through that process, so he understands that process and what would need to be done uh, or what can be done. So, with that, we currently have had, uh, we've asked Mr. Ricketts if he would to put together a budget that he thinks that he would need for next year, which is uh, kind of minimal, and then we, of course, we haven't gotten anything from General Fulkerson and his committee and what those needs are going to be, but we anticipate that there will be some needs. Uh, there will be some needs possibly, you know, to have to go to Washington or, or uh, some things such as that. So there may be some expenses that's going to be incurred. We have not heard back from him. We have heard from Mr. Ricketts, and if I remember right, the number is $3,500. Yes, sir. That was what he presented, um, and at this time, that um, it, it nothing formal. It's basically informal, but the effort, of course, is between is being moved forward as an effort between the, the county and the city of Aldosta to fund this effort to make sure or do everything that we can to be assured that Moody uh, stays off of the Brad list in, as early as 2015 and. 2017. Uh, we hope it doesn't happen. We don't hope it doesn't come to that. But but my fear personally is that uh, I'm not sure that we can sit back and wait until they say it's inevitable it's going to happen to then begin to start a community effort to try to head it off. So the answer to you know to this question is right now, if I'm correct. The figure that you have before you is currently what is being funded to Mr. Green. That's correct. Which shows no increase of anything else. So it's a matter of 
shifting some revenue to some of these other needs, which will basically leave that line item as it is, um, or increase that line to um, to hopefully a manageable number that we can work with. And I'll entertain any suggestions or any thoughts that someone may have on that. The, um, the, the general that has he expressed an interest? He's accepted the challenge. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. He's done that. So, can we fund Parker's efforts, Parker's efforts, the general's efforts, and, and Allen's needs? Can we fund all three of those needs with this? No. Okay. So I, what I is, don't think so. So, what is the proposed number to fund? that well you know there again not knowing what general focus is and I, and I and my personal feeling is is that through this budget process here I think it's going to be very very minimal I could see to where next year it may get stepped up you know, but I think it would be very very minimal at this point um, I'm looking at um, If I understand this right, and let me and ask this, because we approved twenty-five thousand last year. Last year, have we gotten any other requests other than up to the twenty-three two eight nine? And what, what is this date? Is this through as well? This is um, again on this one. Yeah. This is an outside agency, so we don't ask them for what their request is anymore. Okay. Um, we just pretty much we'll give you what we have in there. Gotcha. Unless we're reducing it. Um, but this is um, through the April bank statement. So this is through April. Okay, through April. So it's, it's staying fairly consistent then it, by the time we're through even 25,000. Is there a, there's a preset limit on that card though, right? So there's no danger. We actually put the amount of money in the account. So this is a debit yes. card, it's not a debit card. card. Mm -hmm. We put that amount of money in the account, and that's as far as it can go. Okay. So, um, Mr. Chairman, and I, you know, we were just talking about this with the um, with the uh, commission special projects line item. We, we were just talking about this. I think we're all on board with that. I just would, I would, I would like a number. I'll give you some. Okay. Make that thirty thousand dollars and reduce the contingency. And I think that might be light. But I, I agree with the chairman that I think this year will be lighter than potentially next year. Um, and that's assuming the General was heading this up is, is contributing all his own time. Yeah, we haven't. We really haven't discussed any comments. We haven't had that. We haven't gotten to the point that we've actually sat there and, and, and talked about. Okay. Remember, it, it, and I'm, my plan would be that the efforts are is that whatever you contribute, this city would, as well as going to match that number. So if you do buy, then that's really team. Can we keep? Can we, we've got, we're on page 48, we've got, we're halfway through it. Can we keep looking? Sure. I mean, I, if the number is five, and we hope the city of Austin would match that five, that would bring that number. Well, they're already doing whatever they're doing now. Yeah, they're doing so, whatever they got to do. And so, so this would be a conversation that I would have to have with the mayor to let him know what, what we are planning on doing so that he'll know how he needs to get the plan. I think their number at the bar moves forward. But it's more than so I, I don't know. I, so I just don't want to keep the issue. Is that a little lady in the talk for me? there all the time. No. I'm sorry. And that's, I understand what you're saying. I, I get what you're, you're just, you've been trying to find money for two weeks, three weeks now. Mm -hmm. And so I just, golly, I hate to keep. 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 I
I just hate to keep that on the table as a source. I mean, at some point, you got to just say that's untouchable. I don't disagree. Well, we can okay. Well, let's, let's just move on then. We'll come back to it if that's yeah. what we need to do. Well, I mean, 